Drug delivery systems, or DDS, are pivotal in modern pharmaceutical research. They serve as carriers of drugs, enhancing efficacy and reducing side effects. Drug delivery systems vary, such as nanoparticles, liposomes, nanoemulsions, or bioconjugation. Each type has unique advantages and applications. Firstly, nanoparticles are vital drug carriers, precisely targeting disease sites. Known for biocompatibility and high drug loading efficiency, they are used in delivering anti-cancer drugs, antibiotics, and gene therapies. Secondly, liposomes are spherical carriers made from a phospholipid bilayer that encapsulate hydrophilic and hydrophobic drugs, offering excellent targeting and stability. They are used in cancer therapy, vaccines, and anti-infection research and drug development. Thirdly, nanoemulsions are nanoscale emulsions of oil, water, and surfactants. They encapsulate hydrophobic drugs, enhancing solubility and bioavailability. Nanoemulsions are crucial in oral medications, topical drugs, and cosmetics. Fourthly, bioconjugation links drugs to biological macromolecules like proteins, antibodies, or DNA for controlled release and targeted delivery. This system shows potential in cancer treatment, antiviral therapies, and chronic disease management. All in all, drug delivery systems are used for targeted delivery of anti-cancer drugs, efficient use of antibiotics, precise release of gene medicines, and vaccine development. They enhance drug efficacy, reduce side effects, and improve drug cycle time. As a global leader in chemical supplies, we provide comprehensive drug delivery system development services. With advanced technology and a professional R&D team, we offer one-stop service from design to evaluation. Whether it's nanoparticles, liposomes, nanoemulsions, or bioconjugated systems, we deliver high-quality solutions. Drug delivery systems are a significant innovation in pharmaceuticals, enhancing therapeutic effects and safety. We look forward to collaborating with you to advance drug delivery technology.